morning, everybody, and a very warm welcome to our service here in Pershaw Abbey, and a warm welcome to those of you joining us at home this morning as we gather for our Mission Sunday. It's really great to have you um, here with us. Just to remind everyone, I keep looking at us, I'm a bit steamed up still at the moment, so I'm peering out. <laughs> But um, just the usual practice, I'm going to be showing when to come forward for um, communion, and you can do the, the, the holy loop around the church, unless you're in the front row, um, that keeps everyone uh, as safe as, as possible. And I don't think there are any other notices, which is really, I know, it's a rare moment. So we'll just have a moment of quiet now as we prepare to worship God. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. Almighty God, to whom all the hearts are open, all the desires know, and from whom the secrets are hidden, grant the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit that we may perfectly love you and worthily glorify you all for you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. As we prepare to celebrate the presence of Christ in word and sacrament, let us call to mind and confess our sins. Most merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we confess that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been. Help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall do, that we may do justly, love mercy, and all humbly with you, our God. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we pray to you. Almighty God, who called your church to witness that you were in Christ, reconciling the world to yourself, help us to proclaim the good news of your love, that all who hear it may be drawn to you, through him who was lifted up on the cross and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. 
Once more, Jesus spoke to the chief priests and Pharisees in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who gave a wedding banquet for his son. He sent his slaves to call those who had been invited to the wedding banquet, but they would not come. Again, he sent other slaves, saying, Tell those who have been invited, Look, I have prepared my dinner. My oxen and my fat calves have been slaughtered, and everything is ready. Come to the wedding banquet. But they made light of it and went away, one to his farm, another to his business, while the rest seized his slaves, maltreated them, and killed them. The king was enraged. He sent his troops, destroyed those murderers, and burned their city. Then he said to his slaves, The wedding is ready, but those invited were not worthy. Go therefore into the main streets, and invite everyone you find to the wedding banquet. Those slaves went out into the streets, and gathered all whom they found, both good and bad. So the wedding hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to see the guests, he noticed a man there who was not wearing a wedding robe. And he said to him, Friend, how did you get in here without wearing a wedding robe? And he was speechless. Then the king said to the attendants, Bind him hand and foot and throw him into the outer darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. For many are called, but few are chosen. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. Holy Spirit. Amen. There are many things that we're asked to do as a church when we respond to that invitation to follow Jesus Christ. Um, you can hear the parable um, from today and think, oh, are we dressed in the right way? But let's bring a bit more to that parable than, than what outfits we're wearing. All of you beautiful, um, by the way, <laughs> and all in, in the right places. So that's, that's absolutely fine. But one of the things we're called to do is to be mindful, isn't it, of those around us. And we do that in many different ways. We do that through our caring and, and our concern and, and our witness. But we have a commitment as um, an Abbey Church that we will be mindful with what we do with the money that we receive. So we have lots of calls on our money. Uh, and if Helen, our treasurer, was here, she would tell you all about that. But we have a commitment that whatever our account is looking like, we will always give at least £3,000 in our mission giving. And on Mission Sunday, we, in the past, those of you who might recall, we've invited some of the speakers from the various organisations and charities that we have supported. This year's Mission Sunday, I wanted to let you know that even though we are running at a projected £30,000 deficit by the end of the year, which uh, we share that, um, that challenge with many other churches and organisations. We are still committed to our mission giving and um, we have approved our mission giving for this year. So I'm sorry that I'm not Mr Christmas. Remember he came last year, he was great. You've just got me. <laughs> so to tell you where our mission giving money is going this year. So we've chosen to give the PCC 500 pounds to Eco Church. So you will um, be aware, I hope, that we've worked really hard this year uh, with our Eco Church work. So we have our bronze award, and now as a whole community, we have to work hard so that we can enable us to progress to our silver award. And contributing to Eco Church enables them to help resource parishes across the country 
so they can be better equipped to be um, engaging with all the environmental issues and projects that they want to be um, involved with. Stewardship of creation, so very important for our mission. PCC also um, decided to continue to support Christians Against Poverty um, with a £500 donation. Um, more than ever, we are aware, aren't we, of the, the need of so many people in, in our town and in the wider area. So the money that we give to Christians Against Poverty will support people in this locality, which is so important. And Christians Against Poverty work hard with journeying alongside individuals and families and households who find themselves living with unmanageable debt and hopefully can get them to a place where the debt is resolved and life looks a whole heap um, more hopeful. And one of the wonderful things that happens with Christians Against Poverty is that as part of that journeying and accompanying Lots of people get scooped up by a local church community, by, by those of faith, which gives ongoing support and encouragement. So a really important organisation always, but particularly at this current time when we know that financial crises are happening all over the place. The next one I want to talk to you about, I got really, really excited about this, which actually, you know, I'm prone to overexcitement. But the PCC um, chose to support the Tear Fund Toilet Twinning Scheme. Uh, it's a little, a little, little kind of ruffle of excitement. It would be, would, would be good at this moment. So, <laughs> so this is a long-running, long-running campaign. And um, the PCC gave um, £480, which enables us to twin with two toilet blocks <laughs> in far-off places, which I'm going to tell you about now, um, which enables those who um, need to use those facilities elsewhere in the world to have good, clean places for that, um, which, you know, we just take for granted, don't we? It's, you know, we've got news in our homes, we've got a loo in church, we've got St Andrews, but for lots of people, it can stop um, children going to school, it can do all sorts of negative things. So us twinning with toilets is absolutely fantastic. So I want you to know, we will put these up, so when you next are able to use the facilities, you can have a thought about these far off places. So the, the toilet here in Pershaw Abbey has been twinned with a school block of toilets, and we get a picture. This is, this is the bit that I'm really excited about. In a place called Mugandu Rabara in the Kabali district of Uganda. And it's got the, like, the map reference. So you can probably go on the right Google app and see it. Um, that's brilliant. And then we thought actually it's really important that St Andrews is involved with this. So all the loops at St Andrews has been um, twinned with a toilet block in a refugee camp in Cox's Bazaar in Bangladesh. So a really simple thing for us to do, but what an amazing difference that's going to make to so many people. So their time in a refugee camp is more comfortable, so that children, girls, boys can go to school and not be worried about things that they might be worried about. So they'll be up as a constant reminder of our commitment to them. Tear Fund have just started bin twinning. So watch this space for next year. So I was very excited about that. The PCC also decided it was really important this year that we um, supported Christian aid. We normally do fantastically well. I did see Margaret's in church today. You know, the team, the Christian aid team, work so hard, don't they, with Christian Aid Week, and I'm looking at many of you I know will have stood on chilly streets in Pershaw and done collecting or done household, house for house collections, uh, and we usually have at, at least one or two fundraising social events, and we actually raise quite a lot of money for Christian Aid. So we haven't been able to do any of that. There was an online appeal during Christian Aid Week, but 
that was quite hard for people to get to grips with, really. Um, so what's been happening here has been echoed throughout the country. So Christian Aid's uh, income has reduced greatly. Um, so we thought it was really important that we made a thousand pound donation to Christian Aid. I just, I've been given a little report from the team to read out, to give us an update on Christian Aid. So the strength of Christian Aid stems from the belief that everyone is equal in the sight of God and the focus on actions bringing long-term change with affected populations being included as agents of their sustainable development. Working with a network of supporters across the world, Christian Aid aims to reach those in most need, address the root cause of poverty, speak truth to power. The political action is focused on global economy, which is hardwired to increase inequality. The world has over 2,000 billionaires, but it is estimated that by 2030, there will be 800 million, that's 10 times the population of this country, in extreme poverty. 800 million. Climate change, which hits the poorest first and hardest. Climate change is bringing serious problems to the coffee growers of Nicaragua. With the changing climate, the coffee crops on which their communities depend are failing. Christian Aid is helping with advice and tools to grow new crops so the family farms can keep going and the communities can be supported for generations to come. Conflict and development. Conflict and violence increasing worldwide results in the rise of forcibly displaced people. Women are most affected by the twin evils of poverty and violence. This year, this year's need for funds and the ability to raise them have been moving in opposite directions. Christian Aid Week, together with all public awareness and fundraising events, have now become private virtual appeals. Please pray for the work of Christian Aid and for wisdom in the raising and spending of money raised. Some challenging times for Christian Aid, but good to know that our small donation hopefully will make a difference. The last organisation I wanted to tell you about, which the PCC have chosen to support, is a continuing support we've had with Borrego Hospital in the Diocese of Borogoro in Tanzania. And the PCC have given £520 to Borrego Hospital. Um, I have a deep, deep affection for Borrego Hospital, having been there when I went to Tanzania a couple of years ago. The hospital director, Canon Isaac Gago, always writes a little note to us to say thank you. So I wanted to give his report. I want to be marvellous one day if he could come and stand here. I'll have to work on that, won't we? So he writes to all of us, dear friends in Christ, Receive many greetings from Borrego Hospital and her institutions. We are praying for you to be safe from the COVID-19. In Borrego, we don't have any experienced cases at the moment. I would like to briefly update you about the hospital, the School of Nursing and Bishop Chitimo Primary School. The hospital is still facing the same financial difficulties in buying medicines and medical supplies, together with the general daily operations. The government is establishing her hospitals at the moment, hence church hospitals in the country have to find their own means of sustainability. For the case of Borrego, we haven't yet got a proper way to make the services to be sustainable. We still serve our rural community through the support of individuals and churches. Surely your donation is always making a big difference to our hospital. The School of Nursing is waiting an approval letter from the government to change the name to the Borrega Institute of Health Sciences. 
The name will accommodate the new courses, which are including pharmacy and clinical medicine. We expect these courses to start in mid-November. At the moment, we are working so hard to make sure that we meet the minimal requirements. At the moment, we are trying our best to find some funds to buy at least 60 chairs. These chairs will be made in Borrega using our local technicians who are working at the hospital. The cost for a chair made in Borrega is 150,000 Tanzania shillings, while ready-made chairs from Dar es Salaam are costing 250,000 Tanzanian shillings. Some amount of the donation you made will be used to buy some of these chairs. The Institute will be part of the solution of our main challenges at the hospital, as well as in terms of finance and personnel. Bishop Chitimo Primary School is doing well academically. The school is still at the investment stage, hence it has a lot of required things, including classes and dormitories. At the moment, we have built a class, but we don't have funds for finishing and furnishing. Thank you for your prayers. Yours in Christ, Canon Isaac Umgego. So it's good to know that our contribution is making a difference. I couldn't help but smile when I read that. When we bought some new chairs, which were beautifully gifted to us by the friends, um, Peter had to go through such a torturous process to get the permissions. <laughs> Much easier in Borrego. Thank you, everybody, for all that you give financially to the Abbey, those in church today, those of you at home. I hope you can see it makes a huge difference to many, many people. So may we continue always, whatever our circumstances, be a generous and mission-focused church. Amen. Now join together with our brothers and sisters across the world as we profess our faith. We believe in one God, the Father and the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all countries, season and unseen. We believe in one Lord in Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten.
We ask for your blessing on us as we strive to worship you. Welcome all and reach out to the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we thank you that we are able to worship you in the hour. We offer you our prayers, music and praise in humility and love. We ask that you help us to build up your church here in Pershaw, across the benefice and across the world. We ask for your strength and support, especially at this challenging time for so many churches and so many congregations. Help us as we search for new and different ways to worship you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We ask that you help us, Lord, to be a church that welcomes everybody. And in doing this, we ask that you give us your power to share your love and peace with all. We pray for all those who come to church, for private prayer, for services. Let them feel welcome and feel the sense of your presence in this place. We may not know them, but you know them, and you will always hear their prayer. We pray especially for all those who help to welcome your people here in the Abbey, especially those who guide and support us every Sunday as we worship you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, help us as we reach out to the wider world. We pray for all those who love and support our community locally, and for those who support everyone across the world. Let them and us show your love to everyone they and we touch, and know that we are all doing your will. Today, we pray especially for our mission partners this year. We ask for your blessings for Borrego Hospital, Christian Aid, Tear Fund Toilet Cleaning, Christians Against Poverty, and Eco Church. May our small financial support for these organisations go with our love and your great power to help them in their mission to the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all those affected by COVID-19. Help them, support them and keep them in your love. We pray for all who are sick in body, mind and spirit Lord. Hold them and the people who look after them in your loving hands. Give them your peace and the healing power of your love. And we pray for those departed this night and for their family and friends. Care for all those who need your help at this very sad time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, your challenge to us to take forward your kingdom is great, but we accept it and embrace it in your name. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. is love, and those who live in love live in God, and God lives in them. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. 
wherever you are this morning, whether you're watching this at home or a bit later, let's share some socially distant speaks. <laughs> Yours, Lord, is the greatness, the power, the glory, the splendor, and the majesty. For everything in heaven and on earth is yours. All things come from you, and of your own we give you. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks to the it is indeed right, it is our duty and our joy, at all times and in all places, to give you thanks and praise, Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. For he is your living Word. Through him you have created all things from the beginning, and formed us in your own image. Through him, you have freed us from the slavery of sin, giving him to be born of a woman and to die upon the cross. You raised him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand on high. Through him, you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving spirit and made us a people for your own possession. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, and is in the heights. Blessed is he who comes in the name of Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take eat this is my body which is given for you do this in remembrance of me In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave him thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Then 
therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself, made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. We look for the coming of your kingdom, and with this bread and this cup, we make the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Lord. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Accept through him our great high priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts, in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit, inspire us with your love, and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honour and glory and yours forever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done.
Son, Jesus Christ, has sent us into all the world to preach the gospel of his kingdom. Confirm us in this mission and help us to live the good news we proclaim through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We thank you, Lord, that you have fed us in this sacrament, united us with Christ, and given us the foretaste of the heavenly banquet, prepared for all the Amen. Christ, who has nourished us with himself the living bread, make you one in praise and love, and raise you up at the last day. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord.